They said I would. Angered over Eddie Kilbane Pryor's exclusive interview, members of the Third Street Saints confronted several of his associates, gunning them down in an abandoned office building. Your very own, James O'Reilly, is now infamous killers to ask them their thoughts on the accusations of the self-proclaimed philanthropist. While the conversation was punctuated with guns waving threateningly, the message was clear. The Saints want to end Kilbane's life. The reasons behind this murderous intent did not come out, though the recent release of a video showing their involvement in the destruction of a memorial bridge in Stillwater may have sparked their ire. This is Jane Valderrama, risking life and limb for you, Steelport. Hey, how's the Decker plan coming along? You can't rush these things. Running in and shooting won't work on Matt Miller and the Deckers. It doesn't have to be perfect, just something to get started with. Well, the plan's almost complete. I'll wait for that. Kenzie... Uh-oh. That's not good. What? What's not good? Come to Smiling Jack. Kenzie, what's going on? I'll call Shondi. We'll meet her. See ya. What's up? You need to see this. Fortunately, this exclusive footage has come to light. And with us live, the man responsible, Eddie Kilbane Pryor. Thanks for being here, Eddie. My pleasure, Jane. And please, call me Kilbane. Very well. Kilbane, there are some who claim you're a criminal. No, no. Jane, my dear, please. The Saints are criminals. Call me eccentric, but I'm just an entertainer slash businessman slash philanthropist slash... We get it. Where are they? No idea. They're broadcasting from an undisclosed location. Well, fucking disclose it! I might be able to triangulate where you're shooting if you go to the broadcast towers We're and... on it. You 
use it. I'll explain when you're airborne. That asshole's gonna trash the Saints on air. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm sitting with a man the wrestling community has called the Walking Apocalypse. Is such a moniker intended to frighten your fans as well as your foes? Not at all. It's an inspiration to all my fans to rise above the meager existence of a mere man. And what about those that don't share that opinion? Some may call that preying on, on the, the weak. Control, it's the ones who see each person as nothing more than a patron. Fuck him. Well, oh, you don't think Kilbane is noble? Planet Saints. And your intentions are noble? Ask the kids who've been Dickens. through my program. They'll tell you the good I've done them. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. <laughs> Instruction time, Kinsey. I sent you coordinates to several radio towers. Head to the first one and let me know when you've landed. Before the break, you mentioned the kids you've helped. Ah, uh, yes. Kilbane's Crunch Camp. <laughs> it's a two-month summer program that gets kids off the streets and into the ring. There's been some concern from parent groups. Well, that's because parents are pussies. Maybe they should focus on a real threat. Like the Third Street Saints. Strong words. Kids fall down and get hit with steel chairs all the time. I'm just providing a safe environment for this to happen. Meanwhile, parents are buying their kids lunch boxes with convicted serial killers on them. My exclusive interview with Kilbane will continue after the. You didn't say anything about Deckers being up here. They probably use these antennas for the Decker you sent. It's not surprising they need guards. Just give me a heads up next time, Kinsey. Use the transmitter I left under the seat. Place one next to the radio antenna, then head to the next tower. Is there any place in the city Kinsey hasn't placed some device? Who cares, as long as she isn't bugging my bedroom. I don't think she wants to hear the details of your sex life, Shondi. You sure about that? Though, I'll bet we can make some good money off of it. I'm always on when it counts. Cover me while I hook this thing up. interview. The controversy over your match against your former partner, Angel de la Muerte? <laughs> People keep talking about a controversy when there isn't any. There can only be one legend. We fought, he lost, I won. If Angel de la Muerte was to come out of hiding, would you face him in a rematch? Without his mask, he's nothing. Less than nothing. The dirt under my boots gets more respect from me. To consider a rematch would mean admitting he's still worthy of my time. Let's hope he's not out there listening in. But to everyone else, we'll have more with Kilbane in just a moment. <laughs> Make all these gadgets, Kinsey? Or steal them? It's safer you don't know. Safer? What do you mean, safer? Well, it probably means that it's safer if you don't know. Look, they work, that's all that matters. What are we gonna do about that video the press has? Uh, play the whole thing off as some phony publicity stunt? People think we blew up a landmark. I don't think it's that easy. Then what do we have a PR department for? Covering up the small shit! Is anything we do small? Ever? people okay that was impressive <laughs> 
safe. any longer than that. Turning this thing on and then we can take off. There, got it. Sending the coordinates of the van. I, I thought you just said van. A broadcasting van. It's where the signal is being sent from. So what, blow it to hell? No, use the laser signal tracker to help me find the broadcast location. I, I don't see that button on the dashboard. The light on the helicopter! Shine it on the van! is your upcoming wrestling event. What do you say to the accusations that it is just legalized killing? Well, it's entertainment for the masters, nothing more. But you admit people do get hurt. Oh, of course they do. I may be carved out of sacred marble, but occasionally a chip breaks off. I'm not going to cry about it. I'll just smooth out the edges. And what of those who've died Great. at the Great. They're events? running. We must have spooked them. Food. Jump on a grenade and you have to expect the blast to tear you to meaty blood-soaked pieces. There may be children listening. Oh, right. Uh, uh, kids, uh, don't play with grenades and just blow your hands off. When we come back with Kilbane, we'll take a few calls from our listeners. <laughs> should give us just enough time. What are you gonna do? Okay, patching your cell through. Looks like we have a caller. You're on the air with Kilbane. What's your quest- Listen up, you son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Do you have a question for me? I'm gonna find you and put a bullet in that inflated fucking head of yours. Um, uh, perhaps this has gone just a bit too far. I'm not sure that's a question either. It sounds more like a threat. It's a promise. Okay, we need to... Ooh! Someone talked to a washed-up wrestler, and now they think they can cut a promo! You know, Eddie... No one calls me that! 
I'm gonna fucking murder you, your family, your dog. And that's all the time we have. Thank you for your time, Kilbane. This has been Jane Valderrama with a special interview. <laughs> This looks like the place. Okay, let's quietly sneak in. Quietly? Or run in guns blazing. Either works for me. You couldn't fight worse shit! Kilbane anywhere? I bet that reporter knows. Let's ask. Seems to be a couple people in the way. It's been a while. You look good. Well, I always do. Now, where'd Kilbane go? He mentioned heading north. You're, you're not after me about the interview, are you? Time to get back in the air and catch that asshole. Let's put a bullet in that son of a bitch. Let me get close enough. Just keep it steady so I get a shot. No problem. You all right? I had him! I know, I know. It's not your fault. Something weird happened. Ah, shit. <laughs> 